getting potentially dangerous drugs away from the wrong hands. That was the mission this weekend as police departments across Rhode Island take part in a national prescription drug take back day. Eyewitness News anchor Shannon Heggie has the details new at 530. Mike, the goal is twofold, giving people a convenient, safe way to dispose of their old prescriptions and educating the public about the dangers posed by those expired or unused drugs. Today, Mayor Jorge Alorza announced that Providence will be taking part in Saturday's Drug Take Back Initiative with four collection sites across the city. Those include the police department and the Walgreens stores on Academy Avenue, Pocasset Street and Elmwood Ave. They're among more than three dozen drop off locations across Rhode Island. Alorza says leftover prescriptions are not only dangerous for children, but they could also be a gateway to more dangerous drugs. In recent years, we've been hearing a lot about the opioid epidemic across our city, our state, and our country. While there's been a huge spike in heroin use in recent years, most of those who do use heroin have actually started by using prescription opioids, which really puts into perspective just how important it is to take action to rid our homes of these potential hazards. Prescription Drug Take Back Day is this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. To find a drop-off location in your city or town, just check out our website, WPRI.com. And if you can't make it Saturday, there's a permanent bin at the Providence Public Safety Complex to drop off any unused or expired medications anytime. I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News.